my channel. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that um, a few weeks ago I went to New York City and I got a Celine bag. Um, this was my first Celine bag and I've always had my eyes on it and I was really, really excited to get it. But um, I'm just really, really disappointed. So we'll just go ahead and start with the experience, I guess. Um, it was right after the Miss New York and New Jersey pageant and I was the official makeup artist for that pageant. So just to celebrate like my really big like first makeup gig I decided to go ahead and get a Celine bag because I wanted to treat myself and I really expected better like I'm so disappointed in Celine and just like everything in general so we'll start with like the buying experience okay so this is the Celine in Soho New York I was a mess because I had like three hours of sleep and I was on my feet working all day like I had my makeup clients starting at like 5 in the morning and I was just touching up through the whole pageant until it ended at 5 o'clock p.m. so by 5 o'clock p.m. I'm like starving I'm tired my feet hurt um, I had my makeup done but I wasn't like a hundred percent like on so I had a hat on I was wearing sweatpants and I was covered in like powder and makeup and stuff like that and we walk into the Celine store so we go in and the security guard is rude he's like watching us like a hawk you know because he thinks that we're just there to like look at bags and not buy anything or try to steal something or I don't know just super super rude like I did not feel welcome so I was super turned off by that and I was looking for the nano bag that I really really wanted and no one would help me so like when you first walk into Celine in Soho you there's like a bag display and then there's like random bags and then like shoes and like clothes everywhere and like I didn't know where their signature like luggage totes were so no one helped me I had to walk around the store while the security guard was watching Franz and I making me feel super uncomfortable I'm like we're not gonna steal something like I'm here to get my dream bag you know like make me feel a little bit more welcome but they didn't so I just like looked around and all the way at the back to the left I think yeah all the way back to the left were all the nano bags. I didn't see the one that I wanted. It was the smooth black nano bag that I wanted and they didn't have it. No one bothered to help. We were just like sitting there looking at the bags and I saw like some orange ones, like a black one with like red seams, like whatever. Um, so I was just like looking and I was like, well, no one's bothering to help us so I don't know what to do. Maybe we can just like order it online or something. And Franz was like, no, no, it's fine. So then like finally this guy comes up to us and he's like, hi, can I help you with something? Because I was like holding a bag. He probably thought I was gonna like steal it at this point. Cause I felt like a criminal in there. Like they were really, really rude. And I was like, um, yes, I'm looking for a bag just like this one, but in black if you have it. And he was like, oh, well, do you want it smooth or pebbled? And I didn't know what that meant. I was like, oh, what do you mean smooth or pebbled? And he was like, um, and he got like really, really snarky with me. And he was like, oh, well, um, pebbled is like this kind of material and smooth is like this. And I was like, um, I'd like to see both and then he was like oh well we don't have any pebbled here so I can bring out the smooth and I was like okay I mean they're selling like three thousand dollar bags and they treat you like that and they don't even have all the bags in stock like come on whatever so I was like I'll see the smooth one so he brings out the smooth and I love it like it's amazing um, it's like black and gold um, I actually have it right here so I'll just go ahead and take it out it's really really pretty so this is the bag that I got. It's the smooth one. It has the Celine logo with um, the gold handle. And then he brought out like a bigger pebbled one and he showed me what it looked like and he was like, you know, if you want the pebbled one, I can I can order it for you and it'll be here in like two days. I was like, um, no thanks, it's fine. I'll just like get this one. But do you happen to have the pebbled with the gold logo? Because I might be interested in getting that instead. And he was like, he got like, he like treated me like I didn't know what I was talking about. He was just like, um, no, the stone only comes with silver and the smooth only comes with gold. And I was like, okay, like, sorry, I had no idea. So finally, after looking at it, I was like, you know, I really want the smooth one, the black nano with the gold. It looks perfect. I'm really excited. So he brought out like the two sample bags and I was like, okay, I'll take this one. And he almost started like packaging up the sampled one, which was kind of like busted because it was, I guess, like their display one that wasn't on display, but that's what they used to show people. And I was like, um, can I have a fresh one? And he was like, okay. So he got me a fresh one and then he was like, oh, since this is your first Celine bag, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a box for you. I'm not supposed to do it, but since it's your first one, I'll do it for you. I mean, okay, like this bag is $3,000 and he's telling me that I don't get 
a box with my $3,000 bag. Like, I was so over it at that point. Um, but I was like, okay, thanks for the box, because at least I got a box. Um, here's the box. So then he was like, do you guys want anything to drink while I go and like get the bag ready? And I was like, sure. So they give you something to drink if you buy something. Um, we just took waters because I don't know what they have. Like, can I have a margarita or can I just have like a ginger ale? I don't know what they had. So they gave me like a little like $2 Fiji water bottle, like whatever. Um, and then he came back out with the box and then they took my credit card for payment and then I had to like fill out like some form with my name and address and stuff. I don't know what that was about, but I had to like fill out a form and then that was it okay so that was the buying experience and now let's get to like the actual bag so like i know i might sound like really like sassy and snarky it's only because i didn't like paying so much for my dream bag and being treated um just really badly you know just because i didn't know what's the difference between smooth and pebbled or that the pebbled one comes in silver and the smooth comes in gold like i don't know those things like i just wanted this bag that i saw and i was like this is the one i want um, so here is the bag and honestly I really do like the bag it's been my dream bag and I'm really happy I got it I won't be returning it and I'll be using it on special occasions but there's a lot of things that I can rip apart about this bag so for the price that I paid for this bag it should be able to do everything it should be able to travel in time it should make my three wishes come true like it should do everything but it doesn't really do anything so let me show you this is the bag that I've been using for a while. This is a $100 baby bag that I got on sale for like $30 in Miami and I've been using it forever. The quality is amazing. It's black leather. The shapes are like really, really similar. Um, but this one is way better. So the first thing that made me really upset is that this leather strap on the Celine bag is not adjustable. So it either fits you or it doesn't. So if you're short, then you're kind of just screwed. And I'm short, so... I asked the guy at the store if I could shorten the strap and he was like, oh, well, you can take it to like a professional like leather person and they can shorten it for you. I was like, no, that's like way too much work. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing is that the strap is not adjustable. On the other hand, my $30 BB bag has this adjustable belt strap and you can just take it off and adjust it as you want. I have it on the shortest one because I'm super, super short. But I guess the good thing is that I can take off this strap and put it on the Celine bag if I want to and just like use it like that if I want to. But I don't because I paid a lot for this bag and I think it should have like everything. So that's one thing. I'm used to this bag and like when I put it on my arm I can just like hang it here and it goes all the way through and I like that because it's super easy to use and I can just like have it like right here on my elbow rested whenever I need to um, with the Celine bag I can't do that so it literally fits to my wrist and then it just gets super uncomfortable because this area is just so tight and I know you don't have this issue with the bigger bags um, both bags do have a zipper on the inside so I really like that and the Celine zipper is actually like much nicer than the BB one um, okay. and then my other critique is that BB bag has these like little buttons on the edges and you can like snap them to close the bag completely so if you want to make it like more compact then you can do that so once you snap them it makes the bag a little bit more compact and it actually closes off the top so that like it's not even zipped right now but nothing will come out even though it's upside down so I really like that it can just like close up the bag and just make it more like tighter looking and it kind of like transforms the whole bag. Um, the sleeve bag doesn't do that so it just has like these floppy things hanging out and I'm sure it's part of the design. If I try to like tuck it in it kind of will just like look weird. Um, so that's just like another thing that really bothers me. And then on the inside there's like one big pocket with no zipper pockets but the BB bag has like this pocket where you can just like slide in your cell phones and then it also has a zipper pocket so you can protect anything that's like important. So those are just like a couple things that really bothered me about it. Um, I know that Celine is all about the quality of the leather and the craftsmanship and things like that which is why I'm really bad at owning designer bags because I never end up using them. I love things that have a little bit more edge to them and I just feel like designer bags are more like classic and I'm just not that type of person. Like as you can tell from my video, I don't really know anything about the designer world. I don't know how to pronounce most designers and I don't really care to because I'm not like a cheap person but I'm just like I like what I like and I'm not going to like something else just because it's designer. Um, if you guys are very well researched on Celine, you might think I'm an idiot and get really mean in the comments because that's what you guys love to do here on YouTube. But honestly, like honestly, if you guys really are saving up for a Celine bag, 
I would rethink all of it. And if you are going to get a Celine bag and you're going to the store to get a Celine bag, make sure you wear your Louboutins and look like a million bucks because otherwise they'll treat you like you're homeless and you don't belong there like they did to me. So ever since I got the Celine bag about three weeks ago, I have carried it once and the rest of the time I'm kind of scared to use it just because it is an expensive bag and it's not that convenient to use. I'm going to hold on to it because I've always had my eyes on it and it was like a treat to myself for booking my first big pageant but definitely do your research and look into the bags and make sure that they meet your expectations otherwise you'll probably be disappointed like I was so that was my experience buying from Celine and my review of the bag I know that we all have different experiences and some of you guys are used to buying three thousand dollar bags all the time so you probably think I'm an idiot for not knowing um, exactly what I wanted and stuff like that. But I hope that if you're considering getting a Celine bag, this helped you learn a little bit more about the bag and like, you know, it's really nothing special. I thought that it would be like life-changing, but it's not. So, um, just keep that in mind when you're shopping and I hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, as always, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, I do want to hear what your experience was like, um, if people were rude to you or if you loved it or if you love your Celine bag, you know, we're all here to have a conversation and learn from each other. So definitely go ahead and leave any of your shopping tips below or any like useful resources or um, recommendations for people that are buying Celine bags because I think that's what the audience of this video will be. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and click the subscribe and the like button if you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.